morning guys welcome back to the channel so as promised uh we are going to do a video on the uh frostbite today and uh maybe do a little wood i'd like to try to get a little bit more wood done before i go um but uh first thing we got to do is uh, actually sharpen the chainsaw and then uh we'll have to get the grapple on the tractor so uh stay tuned guys all right guys so we're gonna put a do a little sharpening on the uh the chain here on the steel uh 271 i use a i don't remember what it's called it's like an all-in-one uh sharpener from steel it's got several different files i've had real good luck with this so uh this is what i've been using and it, uh, it always seems to do a pretty good job so uh i'll be using this and uh, we'll put a bit of an edge on her and go from there <laughs> guys so uh got the chainsaw nice and sharp check the fluids should be good the uh we'll have to put the grapple on the tractor now we'll uh get the old get the old tractor warming up a bit and uh yeah go from there all right guys so uh here we are in the tractor she's uh, warmed up a bit and uh we'll take the bucket off and we'll put the grapple on hook up the hydraulics i'll just kind of put you guys on the window so you can kind of see how it goes Alright guys, so uh, here's what the uh, frostbite looks like from the front. You can see it's pretty darn rugged. Uh, it, it's a good, well-built, good, thick grapple, uh, and it works well. So, you know, good build quality, good powder coat quality, everything's greased, high quality hoses. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a pretty good machine. So just figured I'd show you this real quick and uh, we'll grab the chainsaw and we'll jump in the tractor and we'll go uh, hoist some logs and, and cut some uh, firewood rounds with it and uh, kind of see uh, how it all goes doing that. All right guys, so here we are back in the cab down, uh, down at the firewood pile or uh, pole pile, I should say, firewood poles. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, pick up some of these with a the grapple and uh, start cutting them up and see how it all works.
So, as you can see guys, it's a pretty good system. Pick it up with a grapple, get it up off the ground, makes it a lot easier to cut, a lot safer. And uh, you're only left with kind of a small piece in the grapple here that we can then drop and kind of cut them all up later. But uh, much more manageable, easy to, easy to grab piece for sure. So uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be our new, uh, our new firewood system, to be honest. It seems to work really, really well. Um, anyway, uh, I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna do because the bugs are really bad out here, but I wanted to definitely give this a shot. You know, I told you guys I'd do a quick kind of intro review, whatever, on the frostbite, and uh, this is kind of why we got it. It really holds the log nice and firm compared to the brush grapple that we have. Makes a lot safer, it's, it's smaller, so uh, you can get right in there. And as you see, it really does a great job picking up the, uh, picking up the, the uh, poles. Uh, I did so. that previous video on our brush grapple that we had. Um, this one definitely works much better with for logs. It grips it real, real tight. Um, the one thing I did notice, the one downside on this grapple that I did notice, it is much harder to park. Uh, it's a lot narrower. You kind of got to get it just right and to get it to sit correctly. Um, that is one drawback I did find of it. Uh, obviously it's on the tractor now, but when I parked it earlier when we first got it, I did notice that I, I struggled a little bit with that. So other than that, guys, I think uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up on the grapple. Um, Frostbite, you know, really good grapple. Glad we uh, were able to get a hold of one. And I think it's really gonna, uh, really gonna help us moving all these uh, logs and poles around, especially when it comes time to uh, loading the sawmill here uh, next year. So anyway, guys, like I always say, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. And just remember, you'll be all right.